What up guys, Nico Sports Cards here coming back at you with another video. Hope everybody's having a great day out there, keeping it fun, keeping it moving, and most importantly, keeping it healthy. So what do we got today? We're gonna do a little um, random football hobby packs. Got a big chunk here to crack through, waiting on a couple sub boxes to come in. And I'm gonna throw a little comment, a little hot take on what's happening with Carson Wentz. Okay. So for anyone that's watched this channel for more than eight minutes, you guys know that I'm a huge Carson Wentz fan. And I think, let me back up. I'm a huge Philadelphia Eagles fan. That's how I got introduced to Carson Wentz and I became a fan of his. Now, obviously he has gotten traded to the Indianapolis Colts and here are my thoughts. Number one, will I continue to collect Carson Wentz? Absolutely, absolutely. I love the guy. I think he's got Tremendous talent. There may be a little bit of uh, immaturity there as we're learning, but that's okay. The kid's young. And uh, I think he's going to do great. So that's my second point. How will he do in Indianapolis? Well, um, after giving it some thought, I think that the bar that he, that was set for him the year they won the Super Bowl, all right? And fast forward, if you guys don't care about this, but picture the scene, okay? The guy was obviously incredible in high school, like untouchable in high school. Then he goes to um, North Dakota State. He's incredible in, uh, uh, in college, like doesn't lose games. Then he goes to the NFL, and in his second year, he's on a, an MVP run. He gets injured, uh, Foles comes in, and wins Philadelphia Super Bowl. Now, what does the city of Philadelphia do? They build a statue for Nick Foles. They put Foles on the cover of the newspaper. They put Foles on the cover of Sports Illustrated. They do a documentary featuring Nick Foles. Okay, probably a shot to the kid's ego for Wentz, right? Next season, Wentz is going down, ba 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 they're not looking that great. They get to like week 13, week 12, week 13. Uh, he gets injured again with a back issue. Foles comes in, crushes it, takes him into the playoffs, beats the Bears in the first round. Would have probably beaten the Saints if Aguilar, um, not Aguilar, if um, Alshon Jeffrey didn't drop the ball hero once again. Now there's a huge quarterback controversy. Everyone wants Foles, and it's messing with the guy's head. So they trade Foles. Wentz comes in. He doesn't play that great. Um, he does take him to the playoffs again, and then obviously last year was a complete disaster. And I think there's just too, there was just too much there was too much emotional weight going on for the kid to show us what he's got. Anyway, now he goes to Indianapolis. He reunites with Frank Reich, who he knows he knows Wentz, and Wentz knows him. They've got an incredible defense. They've got great wide receivers. And we're going to find out. We're going to find out once and for all, is the kid a bust or was it just the system? So I'm so excited to find out and watch. I'm still going to root for him. I'm not going to be a Colts fan, but I'm going to root for him. And uh, look, as an Eagles fan, we got, we got. I think we're still going to have a quarterback controversy. I don't know. Jalen Hurts is not just going to be the QB for the next 10 years. He might start next year, but they're definitely going to be looking. So it's going to be fun to watch. That's my take. These are my two favorite Wentz cards in honor of the trade and in honor of my boy. I wish him the best and wish him luck. Uh, 2018 Dunruss Optic Downtown, one of one. In my mind, this card is priceless. I don't know. Probably it's worth a grand, two grand. Who knows? And then this is the 2016 uh, Contenders Auto. They made 150 of this version. It's a PSA 9. It's almost impossible to get in PSA 10. Very, very few PSA 10s. So um, I actually got this one graded myself, which was very cool. And I'm psyched to have it in the collection. So with that, now let's get to the packs. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of uh, 2018 certified packs. We're gonna do four 2019 contenders two 2020 Phoenix packs, and then I always try and throw a little 2016 in there just in case we get a Wentz rookie. I wanna make sure you guys get to watch it. So we're gonna start with 2018, no, we're gonna start with the Phoenix, then we're gonna do 2019 Contenders, then 2018 Certified, and then we're gonna end it with 2020 Phoenix. Okay, thank you guys for watching that. That was a little bit of a uh, monologue, but I had to get it out there, fellas. I have to get it out there. I should say ladies and gentlemen, because maybe I have some female viewers. All right. Marshall Falk. Kendall Wright. 
a Christian Hackenberg, Troy Aikman, and Jim Kelly. Wow, we're five minutes deep in this. But uh, look, I have to get that off my chest, guys. All right, Von Miller, Marvin Harrison. Is that numbered? Not numbered. Oh, check it out. Speak of the devil. Carson Wentz, rising rookie, numbered out of 299. Well, sometimes the stars align for you. Yeah, I'm going to sleeve it up. For those of you who are like, who? why would you sleeve that card up? Rising rookie, 61 out of 299. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Kevin Taylor, rookie, and a Marcus Mariota. I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos. I am a collector first and an investor second. As a collector, I have no interest in Mariota. But as an investor, I think his cards are undervalued. I think he's going to be a starter in the NFL. And um, you can buy his stuff really cheap right now. Aaron Donald. We have a hit in here, I think. No, we don't. It's a filler. Uh, Jarvis Landry. And Eric Berry out of 399. Watchman. Deion Jones, rookie. And Drew Brees. Yeah, for those of you that are keeping an eye on the market, it's still really hot. We've seen a massive shift from modern to vintage um, because there's a lot of modern out there. Graded, there's not a lot of vintage. So people shifted to where there was short supply. Vintage is now popped 500%. I think we're going to see a slight shift back to modern, but it's unclear to me where they're going to go. Um, because so much of the modern stuff has been graded. I mean, there's like, what was I looking at the other day? Like a Luca Prism base. There's like 20,000 PSA 10s. 20,000 PSA 10s, something like that. That's nuts. All right, 2019 contenders. Joe Mixon, Mike Evans, Patty Mahomes. Always keep your Patty Mahomes cards, guys. Troy Aikman, Aaron Donald, and... Leighton Van Rish. <clears throat> yeah, it was a bummer to see Mahomes uh, not get the support in the Super Bowl. Congrats to the Bucks, obviously. Congrats, congrats to Brady. But Mahomes just could not get any rhythm. Nick Foles, David Johnson, Sonny Michelle, Bruce Smith. And look at that, guys. What is another Wentz? Welcome to the family. I don't have that card. And Lamar Jackson. Jared Goff, now a lion. Dak Prescott, be interesting to see what happens with him. Sam Darnold. Miles Boykin, rookie. CJ Mosley and Khalil Mack. Devontae Adams, A.J. Green, Indomitian Sue, Peyton Manning winning ticket, Matt Stafford, and a Delaney Walker. All right, let's move to the certified. These look thin to me. Usually with certified, <clears throat> those thick packs are where it's at. Another Khalil Mack, Philip Rivers, Mike McGillick. Mike McGillinkey, I should probably know how to say that. Out of nine ninety nine, the low pop special, and then a Sean Alexander Immortals out of four ninety nine. Not a lot of uh, newer, younger collectors know who Sean Alexander is, but he was he basically dominated, dominated the league for a couple of years. Terrell Davis. So did Terrell Davis. If you were a fantasy football player, Sean Alexander was on your list. The guy went, I think it was, I don't even know how many years in a row, but 
he was a beast. Terod Taylor, Michael Thomas, Ryan Tannehill, Tyreek Hill out of 4.99, and a Tom Brady certified diamonds. Yeah, Brady stuff's good. Oh, man, Brady stuff is hot right now. If I've made one mistake as an investor, it was not buying any Brady rookies. I don't own any Tom Brady rookies, guys. It's crazy. I, I name, name another quarterback, and I've at least got a little bit of his stuff. I don't have any Tom Brady stuff, and it pains me. All right, no hits, two packs to go. Let's see if Phoenix can bring it home. 2020 Phoenix, let's go. Aaron Rodgers, Gardner Minshew, Jalen Johnson, rookie, out of 2.99, and then an Odell Beckham, hot routes, not numbered. Jalen Hurts, rookie. We're filling it out, guys. We're filling out. We're filling it out with with Eagles storylines. All right, last pack. It is thick. Is it a psych out, fake out, or is it a hit? Oh, it's a psych out, fake out. All right, Baker Mayfield, Terod Taylor, Eno Benjamin, out of 199. Look at that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right. I'm not even going to go there. What can I say? Uh, is it, did, is, was it just dumb luck that I got more Wentz cards in this video than in any other video I've ever made and he was the topic of conversation? I don't know, but this is an awesome card. I don't have it. 2020 Flamethrowers Phoenix Carson Wentz. This is the way... This is the way the card gods want me to send him off to Indianapolis. So no hits, but certainly a storyline. This was probably the most valuable card I got is the Jalen Hurts. Looking forward to watching you play, my man. And then I pulled three Carson Wentz cards. In honor of Wentz, we got three of them. We got the 2020 Flamethrowers, we got the base 2019 contenders, and then we got the rookie rising at a 299. Carson, my man, best of luck to you and to all of you out there. As always, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please have a great day. But for now, I'm out. Peace.